Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerdy Nation. It's another Throwback Thursday. So I'm going to show you some figures from my past. Ooh. Um, the first thing I want to do today is I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Mark, the Funko Preacher. He uh, gave me a shout out last night on uh, one of his videos and uh, I got some subscribers from it and I'm very very happy um, so if you haven't checked out the Funko Preacher I will put a link in the description below and you can check him out as well and as I said in my live stream on Monday I'm going to start with the force of freedom today I have my Rambo action figure my John Rambo action figure uh, it's, it's a little a little worse for wear but um, for for late 80s early 90s figure the head sculpt is pretty good looks looks like Stallone all right for articulation with these figures uh, the head turns the arms turn the legs lift up that much and the knees bend and so he can he can kind of get into a semi sitting position which is kind of difficult when he's driving his driving his six wheeled uh, armored vehicle uh, which I actually had uh, for a while um, his his hands are static and uh, he did come with a rocket launcher or something but uh, that's that's this one I also have the classic shirtless in the in the green uh, pants as well uh, he's been he's seen better days he's got like chunks of his head missing but uh, now I never actually watched uh, any of the Rambo first blood movies so I have no idea why I ever wanted these action figures at all so that's that's the first stuff I'm going through today oh by the way articulation is the same on this one And then I have here a very articulated figure from Toy Biz from 1997. It's my X-Men Beast. Let me get him into a semi-static uh, pose here. And I will go through articulation on this awesome beast figure um his his head turns his wrists turn he has a single jointed elbow his uh, arm turns but it also lifts out so he has a pretty impressive wingspan there um, his his legs just turn there is a break at the waist the legs don't go out like that but there is a pretty decent jointed knee and the foot is on a joint as well I 
I had been toying with, haha, toying. I had been toying with having beast in a sort of breakdancing pose, and uh, I had him, I had him uh, looking pretty good there. That's that's one of my figures from the past here. Also, um, from the Onslaught wave of uh, Toy Biz's X-Men series, I have a Jean Grey. Uh, Jean, her head turns, her arms move up and down as far as the little epaulets allow her. Uh, and there's a break at the gauntlet on both hands. And she just has a uh, very minimal leg movement. And uh, like I've noticed with a lot of the uh, 90s Toy Biz figures, she does not stand up. Not at all. So that's, that's Jean Grey. And from the same line, it was a, another 1997. I have the Apocalypse. Everybody's talking about the new Apocalypse Build-A-Figure from the Marvel Legends. This is an awesome figure. It is nowhere near as articulated, but it's awesome nonetheless. Um, it's head moves, head, head turns. Arms move up and down. There is a turn at the wrist, so he can have his hand up or down or just reaching. The fist does turn on the other hand. Oh, and they do lift up as well. The arms lift up. So he can be in a this sort of menacing pose. The legs do not move very much. There is no knee break, and uh, he, he's in a pretty static pose. He does stand, though, better than Jean Grey. And uh, those are the figures that I wanted to show you today. Uh, I particularly wanted to show you uh, Apocalypse here because uh, one of my friends across the pond, uh, Super Sorrel, was... Uh, talking about his Apocalypse uh, Build-A-Figure from Marvel Legends. And I mentioned this in a comment, and he said, oh, you should, you should show it. And so, here he is. So, everybody, if you like what you've been seeing, please feel free to hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, do that. I'm getting close to 100. And when I get to 100, I'm going to try to do a 100 sub giveaway of a Funko Pop. I'm not sure exactly what Funko Pop I'm giving away yet. Uh, if you have a suggestion for a Funko Pop to give away, please comment below. And uh, if you need to contact me for any reason, you can contact me at matthewsnerdynation at gmail.com or you can contact me at matthewsnerdy on Instagram. And remember, everybody, in the Nerdy Nation, nerds rule. Have a great day. Bye.